This is a follow-up video to my previous video about Jesse Smollett. I just want to read you some of the comments I'm getting on that video and on my comments on other people's videos about Jesse Smollett. Just so you can get a sense of the stupidity that racist Jesse Smollett detractors are hurling at me for believing and daring to believe that this guy's innocent. Here's what one guy says. Jesse Smollett was trying to instigate a mass lynching of MAGA supporters. He should be the first example of Kamala Harris's anti-lynching bill. If you think that Jesse Smollett was trying to instigate a mass lynching of Donald Trump supporters, you are an insane, paranoid schizophrenic. You have no evidence for what you're saying, and you're just trying to scare people. Jesse Smollett did at no point claim that all Trump supporters or all white people or all pe people who wear MAGA hats attacked him. He claimed that two specific people, two particular individual human beings, attacked him. And then he described what they were wearing. He did not intend to indict anyone, especially on the basis of their voting patterns or their demographics or their appearance. He claims that he was attacked by two particular people, and he went on to attempt to, this, to describe them, but he failed to adequately describe them because they were disguising themselves. They were criminals who attacked him, and they wanted to get away with it, so they lied and tried to deceive people by putting on disguises and yelling the F-word slur against gay people and the N-word slur against black people. So hopefully that clears that up. Here's another comment. Someone tells me, the liberals actually put Jesse up to it. He didn't do it himself. Well, if the liberal politicians put him up to it and it was planned the whole time, then you'd think the liberal politicians would have had connections with someone in Chicago, like the police or someone, who would have had access to that camera footage or would have been able to make sure that the camera was recording at the time that the attack happened or didn't happen or whatever. Like, there's so many people saying, you know, mocking Jesse Smollett for the fact that the camera didn't record the attack, which is not his fault at all. The camera was facing north away from where the attack was happening, if it did happen. And the people who are Jesse Smollett's detractors, they don't stop to think, well, what does it mean, the fact that it wasn't caught on tape? Maybe it means nothing. So if you think the politicians put him up to it and plan this whole thing, then you would think that the politicians and whoever they worked with would have made sure that the attack was caught on film. Like, can you explain that? Like, send me a comment if you can explain that. Here's another comment someone sent. I only watched him explain it. The guy saying that I, Joe Kopsik, he's saying, you're so dumb, you, Joe Kopsik, are so dumb paraphrasing, saying you're so dumb that you want two black dudes sent to jail. Yeah, well, that proves that I'm not biased. Look, you got an example of black on black crime. Jesse Smollett is saying that he was beat up by two black dudes who disguised themselves as white. Um, the fact that I want two black dudes sent to jail doesn't mean anything. It means that I think they're guilty. It's got nothing to do with the fact that they're black. And the idea that this guy's, this guy's pointing this out as a way to make me seem inconsistent. You're so dumb, you want two black dudes sent to jail. It's like, this commenter thinks that I'm dumb. Oops, I accidentally said that some black guys are guilty. That makes me fail at being a person who hates white people, which is what I was obviously trying to do. I'm obviously trying to spread hatred towards white people by sentencing two black guys to jail. Like, it doesn't make sense what you're saying, that I'm so dumb that I want two black guys sent to jail. I want them in jail because I think they're guilty. It's got nothing to do with their race. And it doesn't reflect on me at all that I happen to think that these two particular people are guilty. And it's got nothing to do with my views on race relations. I've looked at the physical evidence. I've come up with an independent analysis of it. And I think Jesse Smollett is telling the truth because the prosecutors haven't proven that the attack couldn't have happened and they haven't proven that it didn't happen. So yeah, I'm just getting a lot of stupid comments like, you're a troll, like, you're just calling me a troll to avoid having to deal with the fact that I actually think that Jesse Smollett is innocent. It's like, if you think I'm a jackass or that I'm stupid for 
thinking Jesse Smollett is innocent, then just call me a jackass or tell me I'm stupid. I, I prefer that you debate me instead of insult me, but you don't need to call me a troll. That's just distracting you from having to debate me, which you can't do because the facts aren't, aren't, aren't on your side. Just getting dumbass comments like, what planet do you think we live on? It's like, that has nothing to do with the physical evidence. Okay? All these people, they use culture, they use race, they use like uh, Kamala Harris did this and that. They point to the tuna sandwich. And guess what? He didn't get a tuna sandwich. He might have gotten a salad. Oh, well, if he got a salad instead of a tuna sandwich, then that means he's inconsistent about what he got in Subway. So we can never believe a single word he fucking says. The sandwich has nothing to do with it. People focus on obscure details that have nothing to do with whether the attack happened or not. They want to use race and culture to break down and analyze and contextualize this. It's like, then they want to jump to the conclusion that Jesse Small is trying to start a race war. I am so fucking sick of every criminal trial in this country devolve like everyone's the media is afraid every criminal trial is going to devolve into a race war the verdict's going to come out and then all the black people are going to start killing all the white people and then the white people are going to shoot black and the black people they're going to kill everyone it's like um no i'm pretty sure they're going to read the verdict and there might be a riot or two maybe someone will hit someone with a car but you don't have to it's, it's like they're trying it it's a self-fulfilling prophecy at some point when you're like, oh, Charlie Manson trial. He wanted to make that devolve into a race war. Oh, this. O.J. Simpson could devolve into a race war. The L.A. Riots. Kyle Rittenhouse could devolve into a race war. The Jesse Smollett thing. It's like at some point you got to say, you people in the media, you want this to devolve into a race war. You can't handle a single, you can't handle covering a single criminal trial and looking at the physical evidence involved in the case, which will tell you a million times more than analyzing things through your narrow lens and projecting your ideas of race and culture onto these people to explain what happens. You people who are Jesse Smollett's detractors, you're trying to scare people into thinking there's going to be a race war, and you fucking want it to happen. If Jesse Smollett is found innocent, you will blame the Chicago criminal justice system, you will blame Illinois, you'll blame Democrats, and you'll say that Jesse Smollett got off because he paid off some juror. And this is, this is what I'm seeing. That, whoa, why do you think he's, Joe, why do you think he's going to get found innocent? Because he paid off a juror? And then there's people saying, oh, if there's one black juror on that jury, then, you know, it works unanimously. He's not going to get in, uh, uh, acquitted. Or he's not going to get found guilty. They, 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 they try to say that if he's not found guilty, then that's proof that the Chicago or Illinois justice system is weighted in favor of black people. As if it's not weighted in favor of anybody but the cops and the prosecutors who get paid every time they convict someone whether they're guilty or innocent so the fact that people the prosecutors and everyone in the court gets paid every time someone's convicted in chicago i don't know how it's like in the rest of the country but chicago's notoriously corrupt there's a scandal that's emerging now they beat confessions out of people decades ago and it's finally coming out now in 2020. Let me tell you about how much the Chicago cops love black people just because they're Democrats. You fucking stupid racist white goons. You know what? If Jesse Smollett wasn't planning a fucking race war against you stupid, narcissistic, MAGA hat wearing Trump supporters who think that this case is about you, I would hope that he would do so. I hope Jesse Smollett starts a race war against you stupid pieces of shit. Because you're so afraid that he's going to do so. This has nothing to do with you. He did not blame all Trump supporters. He did not blame every white person for the attack against him. And a lot of you people are so stupid that you're admitting to pieces of evidence that suggest the attack did happen. You know? Y'all want to make fun of Jesse Smollett for doing drugs and being gay? Well, guess what? Doing drugs and being gay explains his side of the story. Doing drugs and being gay exonerates him. Doing drugs explains why he would go out at, at 2 in the morning in 25 below degree weather. It all makes sense. You just have to listen to Jesse Smollett's interview once or you have to 
It, consider the possibility that he's telling the truth for fucking five seconds. Look at the physical evidence of the case. Stop analyzing this all through the lens, lens of culture and race. Oh, there's going to be a race war and whatever the verdict is, it's an indictment of this or that. Look at the evidence. Be an unbiased, independent, neutral observer. Be a scientist. Body language analysis is pseudoscience. It's garbage. A man breaks down crying in the middle of an interview and suddenly he's guilty of everything? I don't believe your bullshit. The man is innocent. Quit lying about the man. You're all participating in a public lynching of a black man in the only legally acceptable, socially constructive way that's allowed anymore. You can't lynch a black man on the streets, so you're doing it through the racist criminal justice system, and you're going to brag about it. Fuck you, racist. Kill yourself. I just have one last comment. There's a lot of people who are saying, oh, I hope Jesse Smollett gets found guilty. I hope he goes to prison and gets ass raped. And they're probably making jokes about how he would like it because he's gay. It's like, excuse me, if you want to see Jesse Smollett get fucked in prison, you're gay. You're a rape-enabling faggot, and you want to use sexual violence to intimidate people and control them, okay? You should not be thinking so casually about tossing people into a cage where they have no ability or right to defend themselves and they just have to get ass raped and it's not even part of their official sentence. What you are condoning is anarchy. You fucking crime control authoritarian psychopaths that don't even know what control is. By letting people into rape cages, you're introducing chaos into this system. You're undermining civil society. Rape is not a solution to our problems. Rape does not make people less violent or less likely to commit crimes. It makes them more violent and more likely to commit crimes. If you put nonviolent offenders in jail, like Jesse Smollett would be a nonviolent offender if he's found guilty, which he shouldn't be because he didn't do it. You put nonviolent offenders into jail, they will become hardened criminals. And if you take away their right to defend themselves against people who are trying to rape them in the asshole, then you're causing the same problem to society that you think criminals are causing. You're introducing chaos, what you might call anarchy, but I wouldn't because anarchy is better than chaos. Anarchy means a lack of rulers. But if we had a little anarchy, we wouldn't be fucking sentencing people to rape, okay? There's no proof that Jussie Smollett tried to attack anyone, and no one even ever claimed that. Like, what's the worst possible thing he could have done? Provide a statement to police that some of it turned out it couldn't all be proven? I have provided a statement to police that couldn't be proven. I was attacked. The evidence wasn't there. The evidence went away. Criminals destroy evidence after they commit the crime. People disguise themselves and tell lies like this is MAGA country in order to get away with the crime. Are you new to the idea that criminals don't want to be held responsible for their crime? You think if Jesse Smollett's attackers, or you think they're just going to attack him and then wait for the police to show up while they're holding a copy of Catcher in the Rye? It's not that cut and dry. They ran away. They disguised themselves as white people. You know, here's the thing. I'm taking a big risk by saying that I think they're guilty. I'm saying that I think two black people should go to jail here. And I'm being treated like I'm some fucking black people lover. Like, I'm trying to present an unbiased look at the physical evidence and have people keep projecting race and culture onto it. It's got nothing to fucking do with anything. Race and culture are bullshit social constructs that you guys are inventing to distract yourself from having to debate the physical evidence of the case. Review any video that exists. If there's no video, if there's no video, then ask why there's no video. If there's no evidence, then don't use that to conclude that there's that it didn't happen. Ask yourself, well, if it did happen, what happened to the evidence? Did the criminal conspire to suppress the evidence? Did they get rid of the evidence? You gotta ask yourself this. You can't just say, oh, there's no evidence, so it didn't happen. The Nazis covered up the Holocaust. 
They almost covered it up. And if Eisenhower and other people hadn't been looking at it and documenting it, then no one would have ever believed it. There's still people who don't believe it. And just because there's some doubt in the world about some crimes doesn't mean it didn't happen. Doesn't mean it's a fucking scientifically debatable thing. Okay? That the attack happened can't be proven. It hasn't been proven. But it also hasn't been disproven. No one has shown that it was impossible for this attack to happen. I know it's scientifically impossible to prove a negative. I'm not asking anyone to prove that the attack didn't happen. But people are pretending that they've proven that the attack didn't happen. That's what I have an issue with. Everyone, all these YouTube commenters, they're admitting, they're admitting their prejudice. Every time you see a YouTube comment about Jesse Smollett saying, I know he was guilty from the start. It's like, that's because you're a prejudiced racist. When you said you thought Jesse Smollett was guilty from the start, you virtually admitted that you've decided that this nigga is guilty and you don't care about the physical evidence. Another thing I gotta address, Tucker Carlson started his Smollett segment the other day by saying, nothing Smollett is saying to us is new. He's not giving us any new information. He's been consistent from the start. Excuse me, Tucker Carlson? What did you say? Could you say that again a little louder? What did you say? Smollett has been consistent from the start about his statements? That's weird. That doesn't really line up with all the people who share most of your same viewpoint. The ones who are saying he's been completely inconsistent and wildly inconsistent about his statements. First he says he's a black guy. Then he says he's a white guy. He's crazy. It's like, so you're just going to pretend Tucker Carlson... That you're not on the same side as these people who have a completely different view from you about whether Jesse Smollett is being inconsistent? You're being inconsistent. There's nothing about the anti-Smollett side here that is consistent. They're just pointing to things they think are inconsistencies and pretending that collapses the whole case. Well, I think the jury is going to be smart enough to find that that is bullshit. Also, there are lies being told now about Smollett's a uh, defense lawyer running out of the courtroom crying. And according to the lawyer's own statement, uh, she did not run out of the courtroom crying. There were no cameras in the room, so you can't prove that that happened. Um, according to her own statement, she got a little choked up, but she didn't start crying and run out of the courtroom. So people are just claiming this shit happens. They don't have any evidence. Now you could say that I'm doing the same thing, but you know, because I think the attack happened when there's no evidence. But, you know, this is all maybe an argument for more cameras in courtrooms. Maybe this is an argument for more cameras outside a subway or just on the street. Or maybe, you know, I don't want to go too far and say there should be cameras all in our faces all the time. But, like, you know, speaking of cameras, people can't seem to answer this question. If this attack was orchestrated and this was Jesse Smollett's big time to shine as this actor who's finally like merging reality with fiction by staging an, a racial hate crime in the streets and it's going to change his life and make things better for black. Don't you think they would have recorded it if their plans were that involved? And it's like, oh, politicians are going to be involved. It's going to change Hollywood and make the Democrats money and help with fundraising and uh, this and that. But they just forgot to have the camera on. I don't buy it. You're telling me all these people went to all this effort, all these people who have all this power, like Kamala Harris, and they're doing an anti-lynching legislation because it was concocted to happen alongside the Jesse Smollett fake racialized hate attack. Then why didn't they film it? If these people are so connected to Hollywood, they couldn't rig up one camera, make sure it was facing the direction of the attack. But no, I'm sure you'll use the fact that the, the, the attack wasn't filmed to try to pretend it didn't happen. Well, guess what? My left hand and my right hand, they're not on film right now. They're not on camera right now. That means they don't exist. Oh, wait. Here they are. Here they are. If I don't know about it, it can't hurt me. That's your ideology. What I don't know about can't kill me. If I don't know it about it, it can't hurt me. 
So then you've used that idea to say, I don't want to know about anything. Therefore, I'm immortal. I want to live. So I'm going to be ignorant about the threats against me. I'm going to be ignorant about facts. I'm going to just make up facts and project my idea of reality onto what's happening in front of me. You don't know how science works. Body language analysis is not pseudoscience. You make everything about race and culture instead of looking at the physical evidence of the case. What these YouTube commenters, Jesse Smollett detractors, and body language analysis experts do is an insult to people in the criminal justice profession. Not that they're all good people. Lots of them are liars. But you know, I can't wrap my mind around how many libertarians there are who are criticizing Jesse Smollett. It's like, excuse me, he's being hounded for his money by the police. Did you notice you're on the same side as the corrupt Chicago police here? Why are you suddenly on the same side as the people whose job it is to beat us up and kill us for not following stupid rules? You were just criticizing laws against victimless crimes. And now you want to put this guy in a rape cage for the rest of his life because he lied to the police, who are your biggest enemy, by the way, Chicago libertarians. Why are you enabling your enemies? They torture people to get confessions out of them. The Chicago cops claimed that Jesse Smollett confessed to concocting the racial hate attack. They also claimed that the Olsen Dyer brothers confessed to carrying out an attack against Jesse Smollett. I mean, they said that he paid them for the attack, but they're lying. And the cops corroborated their lie. I'm not saying that statement originated with the police. I'm saying the cops are corroborating the Olsen Dyer brothers' lie that he commissioned an attack from them. This is all bullshit. The cops are liars. The cops and the prosecutors get paid every time someone gets convicted. It doesn't matter whether they're guilty or innocent. That's why they're pretending the richer of the two parties, Smollett, not the Osendara brothers, that's why they're pretending the richer of these two parties is the guilty one, even though he's the one who made the claim. He's the one who got attacked. His friend called the police. He didn't want to. He was attacked. He had to let his friend call the police because he was attacked. He got injured. He couldn't afford to let his face be injured because he had to be on the screen all the time. He was an actor. He wouldn't let people rough him up for money. And it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have helped his career. And I don't understand the people who are, who are saying... Oh, Jesse Smollett is just trying to, like, I can barely even verbalize it because it makes so little sense. Like, he's trying to improve his career. He's trying to make a better name for himself. He's trying to improve his situation. What, by lying to the cops and then getting sentenced to prison? Well, his plan didn't really work out so well. You know, this man's being put in, in, in jeopardy of life and limb, and his politician friends apparently can't help him out. But, you know, when he's let off and acquitted, you'll just blame those politicians. You'll blame Kamala Harris. It's like, can't you criticize her for being a corrupt cop? You got to side with the cops and criticize Kamala Harris. Guess what? She's a corrupt cop, too. So now everyone's on the side of the corrupt cops. And I'm the only person left defending a fucking innocent black man who's the most recent person to be fucking lynched, a modern-day lynching, and everyone's just like, I want to participate in the modern-day lynching. I'll lie about that nigga all day fucking long. Dave Chappelle got a few laughs off of him. That means he's guilty. He cried during his interview. That means he's guilty. He got a tuna sandwich instead of an egg. That means he's guilty. Shut the fuck up, you racist liars. Get help.